Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> Ooh, I lost my voice there. So it's two o'clock, time for our cooking party. So while I talk, I'm just gonna make myself a quick drink because what's the party without a drink? So I've got like a shot of vodka, doing a little ginger ale, alcoholic ginger ale, and a little bit of lime juice. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna mix this up. Now I'm ready for a party. Hey, see we've got one viewer checked in. Hi! Hi mom! <laughs> I just made myself a Moscow mule, so I'm ready to party and to cook. I figure we'll just hang out and chat for a couple minutes while we're waiting on <clears throat> waiting on our latecomers. Hey Cass! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so we'll go on and get started. I'm going to enjoy my drink too. And I've got... <laughs> You can't see them, but Fox and Denali are laying right by my feet because they can smell what I'm making right now. <laughs> They're too funny. So, I make my treats with coconut flour because Denali is allergic to wheat. So I don't want to use any wheat or regular flour. Plus, I actually have a lot of coconut flour that I didn't like for a recipe for me but it makes pretty delicious and healthy dog treats. So, got my coconut flour. And I'm just gonna do a cup and a half of this. I happen to uh, invest in a KitchenAid mixer because I've always wanted one and now I have to find ways to use it. <laughs> so I got my cup and a half there. <laughs> So what are you guys up to? Do you have a, a drink of choice or anything going on right now? Can you hear me okay? <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, basically my method is take all these yummy ingredients and just throw them in my KitchenAid mixer and let it do most of my work for me. So I have a banana. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> she thinks I'm funny. Water and dealing with stuff. You and me both, Cass. I know. I had to go and uh, take the dogs out and cheer myself up a bit before I jumped on. <laughs> oh. Ugh, come on, banana. There we go. I'm not a professional chef, <laughs> clearly. Not nearly as elegant as the other ones on TV, but... I can get the job done. This is why, Cass, I warned you I'm a messy cook. Ah, mom's drinking red wine. Very nice. Let's see. So I've got my coconut flour, my two bananas, and I've went ahead and like pre-peeled, kind of really shredded this carrot up pretty fine to little chunks. <laughs> you were there, Mom, helping cheer me up. <laughs> so this is just two kind of smaller carrots, just really tiny shreds. And I'm just going to add that because I know it's a good, healthy, nutrient-dense option for dogs. And then I've got apples, or applesauce, rather, because it's easier. And also another healthy option that's dog friendly. It looks like I need two thirds of a cup. I did not get out the right measurement. Ah! Thirds. There's the right one. You're having trouble with the carrots? <laughs> or me? <laughs> I had trouble with this, this applesauce a little bit. So then I'm just going to add the uh, two-thirds of applesauce 
And between the banana and the applesauce, it just kind of gives the treats a little bit of moisture and just helps it have something to hold that treat together when you're baking it. And then my dog's personal favorite is pumpkin. I use a lot of pumpkin, so mine's already in here. This is the leftover from Denali's Feel Better Remedy, which he is feeling much better. <laughs> Too big? <laughs> Let's see. So for the pumpkin, I wanted a cup, so I'm just basically going to dump all of this in. You can see how exact my measurements are. <laughs> Half the time I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll just throw this little extra in. It's all good. Really the main thing that matters is having the right amount of um, liquid and dry so that the treat holds itself together. <laughs> Can you see the dog's nose? <laughs> they want the pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a reward and just let them lick this. They're gonna go crazy. Hold on, I gotta show you. <laughs> Pumpkin monsters! Denali's missing out. <laughs> there we go. That's good. And then uh, my next thing I need is a third a cup of coconut oil. See, we don't do dishes in my house. We just give them to the dogs. Job done. I'll just put that away in the cupboard. Kidding, I'm kidding. I wash my dishes. Come on, pop up. Oh, they want more now. Huh. So then I'm just gonna, I know Denali. They seriously, they love these treats. They go crazy for them. And isn't it funny how they seem to know like when something is for them? Like I could be cooking. I swear they're psychic sometimes. That and those noses. So I've got my coconut oil. I'm just gonna add that in there. Get in there. There we go. And now, I think the last thing, ah, it lost me for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so what the parsley does is it helps freshen breath. So that stinky dog, yeah, you have stinky dog breath. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He doesn't believe me. But that stinky dog breath, it really helps with that. And I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in, cause why not? It was close enough to two tablespoons. <laughs> ah! I'm also clumsy. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna turn this thing on. I don't know how loud it's gonna get, but it just needs to mix for a while. Oh, Bella's watching. Hi, Bella Pup. That should be good. So now I can just kind of hang out and talk to you guys while that's mixing. Does anyone have any questions? <coughs> Denali does. What's your question? <coughs> He's saying, when are the treats going to be done, Mom? my drink and it went all over me. I am a disaster. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend Moscow Mules. That has been my drink of choice lately. <clears throat> I don't know, they're just delicious. Let me get some Nolly. Come here. Come say hi, Flipflip. Come here, Flippy. Say hi. I'm the Nolly. I'm the one making all the noise. I'm gonna stay here because it's close to the treats. Yes, I am. Yeah. He just wants those treats. He is. He's so verbal. Wanna come say hi, Foxy? 
Foxy doesn't like to be picked up as much as Denali, though, so we'll see. Come here, Boo. Oh, he's just so big. Ah! <laughs> he's like, no, not picking me up, Mom. Huh. Come here. Can you say hi? No. <laughs> now they're just playing. So I think the treats have finally gotten the kind of the right consistency. I'll stop it and kind of show you. Yes, this looks good. Ah, come on. I like to stream at my kitchenware. I don't know why. <laughs> Let me just pop this out. But basically, it's just this kind of consistency here. Oh, yeah, he is a big softy. But right now it's kind of crumbly, but see how it sticks together quite nicely. Yay! Oh, it smells delicious too, by the way. And it tastes delicious. I know because I've eaten a couple out of my test batch before I did this with you guys. They are just as tasty for people. So for this, we're just gonna take a little bit of the dough and we're just, I do have a roller, but I don't want to deal with the whole, like, uh, putting flour on it and rolling it out and then the dough sticking. Because this, this, when I did it the other day, it really does like to stick. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a matter of, I'm going to move over so you guys can see me mashing and working it here, too. Ah, maybe that's the wrong way. I don't know. Go this way. Yep, and so I'm just flattening it out. And honestly, you could either make little flat balls. I have a little cookie cutter here that I'm gonna use. I'll use a bigger one because my dogs are bigger. No, well, I'll use a medium sized one. Hey Cass, you're back. <laughs> so yeah, I just have a little dog treat, dog bone cookie cutter. And I just kind of make shapes. You can see it comes out, they come out pretty nice. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a bit of a long process. So if you guys have questions or what's up or what are your puppies up to right now while we're chilling and hanging out together? Mine are still, they're both laying here staring right at me. Like, <laughs> we demand treats now, mom. Give us the cheats. I'm trying. <laughs> They're too funny. I know, mine, uh, oh yeah, that's what I have to use my phone right now. Um, I don't know, I live out in the mountains, so sometimes the internet is just like, yeah, I don't feel like working today, so peace. It did that to me a couple times before this. <laughs> like, uh oh. This isn't good. <laughs> so what's what's little Bella up to right now? She's watching with us. Huh, that is weird, Cass. I don't know why it would work. On the on the phone but not the laptop I don't know I actually I haven't tried doing these live videos from my laptop just always my phone I'm not sure that's weird <clears throat> so has Rowdy learned any new uh, new tricks lately Are you perfecting the wave I keep remembering I have to give you guys time to type, <laughs> whereas I just get to keep rambling. <laughs> Hi, Bella, tilting her head at me. Too funny. Oh, yeah. So while I'm doing this, 
I'm actually gonna go and preheat my oven to 450 degrees. That'll help. <laughs> potty, is it potty time? Outside time for Rowdy. <laughs> I think my boys are just looking for crumbs. They're just hoping any crumb of this drops so they can eat it. Well, the nice thing about this recipe is if it does drop, they can eat it. It doesn't have any uh, egg in it. So I'm not worried about them getting any kind of poisoning from it, from raw egg. So yeah, they could eat this raw if they wanted to. Nothing bad will happen. All good natural ingredients. It's the kind of treats I like. I know they're good because, like I said, I can eat them myself. <laughs> I don't know if every now and again you guys see the dog's noses. Foxy's here. <laughs> they're too funny. They are! They're the best cleanup crew in the world. Hey, Kathy! It's so good to see you. How are you? What's new? I'm just here doing um, cooking natural dog treats. And the nice thing about this is if you're if you've joined late, it um, will play on Facebook again, so you can go back and watch it and cook these if you'd like. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just thing. I don't know why this is just so fun. Just mashing the treat dough down. <laughs> so with the the cleanup and dogs and stuff, my well, I don't have any kids except the fuzzy one. But it, my dogs love when we go to like my nieces and nephews' houses. Cause man, those little uh. Human monsters, they just drop food like crazy. And the dogs have learned that a high chair is basically like a doggy treat dispenser. So every time they see a little kid in a high chair, they will just camp out under there, just waiting, waiting for their treats to drop out. So, and the kids get a blast out of it too. They're just giggling and having a good time because the dogs look in their face and their fingers and it's just too cute. They're laying at my feet, but I'm not quite as sloppy as my younger nieces and nephews. I am sloppy though. I am a messy cook. I'm running out of room on this thing. So this thing that I'm mashing my, my treats on is actually a silicone baking uh, thingamajig. Very technical term. But what it does is I don't like to grease my trays and stuff, so this is super sweet because I can just cook on this and then it doesn't stick. It comes right off. I save a step, don't have to use quite as much oily stuff, and good to go. <laughs> Hi Denali Nose. Ah, here we go. Alright, so I've run out of room on this one. I've got all my treats ready. And I'm just going to grab the tray and stick it in the oven. And basically these treats should bake for, mm, well, I just, I kind of check them every 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure it depends on how thick you make them. So mine, not terribly thick, as you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure I baked these for 30 minutes last time, but I check them every 15, uh, just in case. As you can see, my method is very concise. I don't know what thickness, if they vary, I don't want them to burn. So I'm just gonna grab a tray and I'm gonna put these in the oven. I will be right back in a jiff. <laughs> so yeah, if, for those of you who don't know, Sandra Vita is my dear mother. And she's saying that when I was a baby, I would feed the dogs from my high chair. And I, I remember that German Shepherd fondly, good old Rocky. 
my buddy for all things. <laughs> So I've got my wonderful baking tray here, and I'm just gonna slide my treats right on, put that one back together, and pop these goodies in the oven. I should probably set a timer because I'm also notorious for forgetting that I put something in the oven until the smoke alarm goes off or it smells bad because everything's burnt. <laughs> I have my iPad here. I'm just going to plug in. A th well, I'm going to do 15 minutes because like I said, I'm going to check it in 15 and then I'll check it again in another 15 if it needs more, but it'll probably take a good 30 minutes to do. And you know, when, you know, I don't know where my timer is on this. Yeah, I'll use a watch. I think I can manage. <clears throat> Speaking of timers and stuff, I don't know if we have any fans of The Rock out there, but uh, <laughs> my friend Georgie over in Spain, another fellow hipster hound, introduced me to, what was it called? Clock Rock, Rock Clock, The Rock Clock, I think it's called, which is hilarious because it's just... All these different, uh, basically The Rock sang and did all the voiceovers for the alarms. And you can set your alarm to wake up in the morning or for different goals. And <laughs> his songs are just so funny. So I've downloaded on my phone and I'm going to give that a try later. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, we'll just use the rest of the uh, rest of our time because I think Facebook limits these to about 30 minutes. So the cooking portion is over now. It's just hanging out, having fun, and and chatting. So, yeah, but I would definitely recommend that rock clock. Uh, it's pretty hilarious. I'm gonna give it a try later. <laughs> so, oh, I, my brain just went blank. I had something to say and it just left me. I don't know where it went. It always does that. But, yeah, I might bring you down so you can see the dogs now, that we don't have to see all this cooking going on. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's one. So this is what they've been doing, like, the entire time. There's Denali. Are my treats ready, Mom? Mom, where are my treats? <laughs> Look at these monsters. They're too funny. Wanna come hang out with me, boys? Wanna say hi? Ah. I'm trying to, no, the, the bottle's not a treat. Come here, pups. Come here. Come say hi. Yeah. Foxy, get away from that. Foxy's like, ooh, the counter is free. Am I staring at the camera? No, stop, dogs. Ah. I did stare at the camera for a moment because I forgot what I was going to say. And now my little thing isn't working too well. Technical difficulties. Eh. How about we do... Ah, I don't know. How about this? So I think we've got like five minutes left eh. while I'm messing with this camera. There we go. Come here, pup ups. You guys can see Foxy. Come here. Come here. Come lay down. Pops. Pops. Good boy. Come here, Nanny. Yeah, Pops. Yeah. He's such a snuggle bug. He just wants to snuggle all the time. So, yeah, did you guys have any questions or what's up? How's everyone doing? What are you doing, Foxy? Mm -hmm. Huh? What your puppies doing? Mm -hmm. They're just waiting on those treats. Come on. 
I'm telling you, this is my favorite drink. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I've been thinking of a lot more fun party things we can do together too. Um, so not just the, not just the treats, but, um, woo, don't knock that over, Biggie. Um, but I was thinking of doing, like, coloring parties. <laughs> I hear you, Cass. I'm kind of, I'm there too. So, ugh, dog hair. Yeah, her Cass and I had kind of a little bit of a, a fire to put out earlier. So we're, we're recovering. She's got outside time with Rowdy. I've got my, my snuggles and my, my drink here. But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to try and do more of these get-togethers. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, but I was thinking doggy, uh, like the coloring parties would be a good time. Or um, I know you guys shared the, uh, the like dog paw art. I thought it would be so much fun for us to get together and maybe do a little dog paw art session. And um, maybe afterward be able to make some cool products out of them if you guys want. Um, but yeah, if you guys have anything, any ideas you have for like a fun party idea we can do together, I'm normally up for anything. Just let me know. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I would love the coloring party. <laughs> Bella's looking at the phone for us. Aw, hi Bella. I've got your husky buddy here, being a snuggle husky. <laughs> All right guys, well I think our time's running out, but um, yeah, the trees should be ready in just a little longer. It said set it for 15 minutes, check it, and then uh, yeah, I normally do five minute increments after that. But yeah, maybe the next one we'll do a fun coloring party. I think that sounds like a good time. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna take these dogs out and go play and definitely set an alarm so I don't forget my treats baking because I know I will. But uh, thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun. It was so nice to be able to kind of chat with you guys live. I'm digging this live video. So um, yeah, we're gonna head out, but uh, We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll just kind of sit here for a moment in case the comments pop in. Because I don't know if I hit finish. Well, if I hit finish, you guys will still come up, I think. Ugh. All right. Well, you guys, you gonna say bye? All right. Bye, guys.